welcome back to Storytime with the Huntington Beach Public Library. My name is Miss Laura and I'm so happy to have you with me here today. Now, before we start our story time, we need to wake up our bodies. So I want you to start by putting your hands up like this and make those fingers stop. Great job. Now, can you wave your hands back and forth? Very good. Now we're gonna sing a song all together to wake up the different parts of our body. Are you ready? I wake up my hands with a clap, 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 a clap, 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 a clap, clap, clap. I wake up my hands with a clap, 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 and I wake up my hands no more. I wake up my nose with a beep, 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 a beep, 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 a beep, beep, beep. I wake up my nose with a beep, 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 and I wake up my nose no more. I wake up my mouth with a boop, boop, brrr, a boop, boop, brrr, a boop, boop, brrr. I wake up my mouth with a boop, boop, brrr, and I wake up my mouth no more. I wake up my belly with a tickle, 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 a tickle, 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 a tickle, tickle, tickle. I wake up my belly with a tickle, 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 and I wake up my belly no more. I wake up my feet with a stomp, 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 a stomp, 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 a stomp, stomp, stomp. I wake up my feet with a stomp, 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 and I wake up my feet no more. Give yourselves a big clap. You did a great job waking up your body. Now, are you ready to find out what we're talking about today? Let's take a peek and see what our shapes are hiding. Let's start at the very top. Can you tell me what shape this is? What shape is this? It's a rectangle. That's right, a rectangle. Now, what color is the rectangle? What color is this? It's yellow. That's right. We have a yellow rectangle. Now, let's see what it's hiding. Put your hands out just like this and we're going to count with our fingers. Are you ready? One, two, three. Oh, there was nothing hiding behind our yellow rectangle. Should we try another shape? Let's try the next one down. Can you tell me what shape this is? What shape is this? It's a circle, that's right. Now what color is the circle? Oh, you're right, it's pink. A very light shade of pink. Now, are we ready to see what it's hiding? Here we go, put your hands out and ready? One, two, three. Oh, there was nothing hiding behind that shape either. We have just one more shape up on the board. Can you tell me what it is? What shape is this? It's an oval, that's right. An oval is like a circle, but stretched out a little bit longer, isn't it? Now, what color is our oval? What color is this? It's red, that's right. We have a red oval up here. Should we look and see what it's hiding? Ready, put your hands out and one, two, three. What is that? Who was hiding behind our oval? She has black spots and red wings and two little antennae up here. It's a ladybug. We must be reading about ladybugs today. Give yourselves a big clap. You did a great job with your shapes and colors. Now, are we ready for our ladybug story? This is one of my favorite ladybug stories. It's called Lucy Ladybug by Sharon King Chai. Lucy Ladybug 
Let's read it all together. Look at all of those black spots. Huh. Let's see what happens. Lucy Ladybug. Lucy Ladybug felt that she didn't belong anywhere. You can't be one of us, cried the other ladybugs. You have no spots. Does Lucy look very happy? No, she doesn't. Lucy flew off feeling sad and alone. By and by, she noticed Fred Frog hopping through the grass. Fred Frog, said Lucy, you are so beautiful with your smooth green spots. I wish I could be like you. But Lucy Ladybug, croaked Fred Frog, you are beautiful too. You float so smoothly through the air. If you really want spots, please have one of mine. I have plenty to spare. Lucy was so happy. Now she had one spot. What color spot did Fred Frog give her? Green, that's right. Before long, autumn arrived and the leaves turned orange, red, and yellow, then floated gently to the ground. Lucy was admiring them as Carla Caterpillar cycled by. Carla Caterpillar, cried Lucy. You are so beautiful with your shiny yellow spots. I wish I could be like you. But Lucy Ladybug, said Carla Caterpillar, you are beautiful too. With your shiny red wings, you can fly so fast. I have lots and lots of spots. Please take one of mine. Lucy was so happy. Now she had two spots. What color is Lucy's new spot? It's yellow. That's right. The land grew cold with frost and icicles as winter approached. Lucy was watching the pretty snowflakes dance in the air when Felicity Fish jumped up from the pond. Felicity Fish, called Lucy, you are so beautiful with your sparkling blue spots. I wish I could be like you. But Lucy Ladybug, said Felicity Fish, you are beautiful too. You have such lovely sparkling eyes. If spots are what you want, please have one of mine. Lucy was so happy. Now she had three spots. Let's count them. Ready? One, two, three. And what color is her new spot? Blue, that's right. It wasn't long before spring arrived and the flowers awoke from their long slumber. Lucy was enjoying their sweet scent when she saw Bella Bird. Bella Bird, called Lucy. You are so beautiful with your dazzling white spots. I wish I could be like you. Lucy Ladybug, cried Bella. You are beautiful too. You make everyone so happy with your dazzling smile. If you'd like an extra spot, please take one of mine. Lucy was so happy. Now she had four spots. Let's count them. Ready? One, two, three, four. 
And what color is her new spot? That's right, it's white. For the very first time, Lucy felt like a real ladybug. She smiled at the thought of her four spots as she made her way back home, past dazzling Bella Bird, past sparkling Felicity Fish, past Carla Caterpillar, who transformed into a beautiful shiny butterfly and over smooth spotted Fred Frog, jumping cheerfully through the air. Lucy returned from her journey with four beautiful spots, one smooth green spot, one shiny yellow spot, one sparkling blue spot, and one dazzling white spot. She suddenly realized that she didn't fit in with the other ladybugs still. All of their spots were black. But when Lucy looked around, she decided that being different was actually a good thing, and everyone agreed. Look at all of the characters we have on this pop-out. And look at all of their different rainbow spots, just like Lucy. The end. Give yourselves a big clap. You did such a good job with your colors and your spots in that story. Now, are we ready to sing a ladybug song? I think so. For this song, I'm going to need you to stand up because we're going to need to move around. So let me get ready to sing the song with you. All right, are you ready? Let's sing our ladybug song all together. First, I want you to put up your hands just like this. These are going to turn into our ladybug wings. So put them out just like this, like they're short little ladybug wings. And I want you to flap them like this. Very good. Our song goes like this. Fly, fly, fly. Ladybugs fly. Fly over here. Fly over there. They fly up high and they fly down low around and around and around they go they fly fast and they fly slow oh ladybugs fly oh ladybugs fly let's sing it again ready put your wings out and sing along with me if you remember the words fly 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 Ladybugs fly, fly over here, fly over there. They fly up high and they fly down low. Around and around and around they go. They fly fast and they fly slow. Oh, ladybugs fly. Oh, ladybugs fly. Give yourselves a big clap. You did a great job singing along and flapping your ladybug wings. Now, we're at the end of our story time, so I want you to reach up very, very tall. Now reach down to the ground very, very small. Put your hands on your head and curl up into a little ball. Now we're ready for our song. Here we go. Sing along if you know it. I'm very, very tall. I'm very, very small. Tall, small. Now I'm a little ball. I'm very, very tall. I'm very, very small. 
small, tall, small. Now I'm a little ball. I'm very, very tall. I'm very, very small, tall, small. Now I'm a little ball. Give yourselves a big clap. Thank you so much for coming to Storytime today with the Huntington Beach Public Library. My name is Miss Laura and I'll see you next week.